Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question here. A positive point charge is placed above the metal plate at zero electric potential. Which diagram shows the pattern of electric field lines between the charge and the plate? So this question is clearly about the electric field lines. And until you know what are electric field lines, and until we know the properties of electric field lines, we will not be able to answer this question. We will not be able to understand this. So I'm going to tell you what electric field lines are and what are its properties. So first of all, what are electric field lines? Electric field lines is a simple graphical method to visualize the invisible electric field. Like for example, there is a Wi-Fi router here. Every time I take the example of Wi-Fi router, you see, so the Wi-Fi is coming out like this. So this is how we draw the Wi-Fi. You, saw, you see, I have drawn these lines. And do you think that actually the Wi-Fi radiations are coming like that? No, of course not. It's a, it's a wave and that is in 3D. So this is really a vague diagram that we are drawing. It's nowhere near the practicality, but it's easy to understand. That is why we draw it like this. Similarly, if I say that there is a positive charge here, so I'm going to draw the field lines like this. So I will just say <clears throat> that these are the, this is how the electric field is coming out of the positive charge. But it may or may not be coming like that. I don't know, but this is how we just draw it. So these are the field lines, easy way of representation, number one. So it's an easy way of graphical representation of the invisible electric field. This is the definition that you can write later. You can just repeat the video and you can note, note the things down. So what are the properties now? So the property number one is they are always coming out of the positive charge. They always originated at positive charge. Number two, they always end at positive charge, negative charge. They always end at a negative charge. And what, what do we mean by this? The positive charge, it would be coming out and the negative charge, it would be going into. So this is, this is how the gravitational field will look. The electric field will look like if we have one negative and one positive charge. Clearly, you can see that electric field lines are coming out of positive and entering into the negative. Point number three, they are not creating loops. That is a very important point because magnetic field lines, they are creating loops. They never end. They are in the loop. They are in a circle. So they never end. But this electric field lines, they start with positive charge always and they end at negative charge always. Now, point number three, they are always perpendicular to the surface of a conductor or charged bodies even charged bodies it is perpendicular and for the conductors also it is perpendicular now this is the property that we are going to use for this question clearly you see positive charge so it means that the electric field lines will be coming out of the positive charge so b is wrong because electric field is entering into this a is wrong because it is entering into this yes d can be right c can be right but let us see which out of them now here you can clearly see that they are basically not even meeting the conductor and they are not creating a 90 degree angle as given in the uh, property number three so all the electric field lines have to create a 90 degree uh, intersection on the surface of a conductor whether charged or whether not charged see you see it is written here zero electric potential so it is not charged so in a not charged phenomena also uh, not charged conductors it is going to create a 90 degree angle hence the answer will be c other than these three properties there are many other properties like point number four quickly i'm going to tell you they never intersect each other never intersect point number five the tangent to them at one certain point gives you the direction of the electric field at that point like the tangent at any point p it is giving you the direction of the electric field at that point. And point number six is where there is more number of electric field lines, the electric field strength is more. Okay, I'm just not writing it. If there is lesser electric lines, the electric field is weaker. This is how we do this question, my dear students. All the very